it is the Carolinas. Notice all the electricity off in the Atlantic, but very uh, wet weather moving through the Carolinas, up through the Appalachian Mountains. As you get outside of West Virginia, Northern Virginia, that's where that snow is starting to come down. So we'll zoom in. It's that area just outside of Washington, D.C., which we will obviously keep a close eye on here the next uh, half hour as they have the egg roll coming out. This is starting to move into that region, and so it looks like they'll be able to get it off just in time before the wet weather. Morgantown feeling that, though. Notice the temperatures into the mid-30s rain right now, but plenty of areas will see the winter aspect of this storm. And as we look, the winter storm warning for portions of northern PA and into northern New York, also right here in light blue, that's that winter weather advisory. Notice the timing of this system. It's a fast moving one. This is by 3 p.m. this afternoon. Some heavy storms moving through Richmond now inching its way towards Baltimore. But notice as you hit to western PA and western New York, you're getting that snow aspect. And this continues to enhance. This is 8 p.m. So think about your evening commute for those major metropolitan areas, Baltimore, New York, uh, those spots, that's when that wet weather will be coming in. And notice these coastal areas, you're topping out the rain index right here. And so this is a heavy surge that's getting pumped in to those coastal areas as you move to the west. That's where you'll stack up that snow. When we stop it out overnight, that's when we have high tide. And there's that concern for that coastal flooding with this nor'easter. As we move into tomorrow, it's mainly the lake effect snow enhancing from areas of Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Syracuse. They will get that snowfall and then by tomorrow evening, we're finally done with this nor'easter. But as we look at the flood threat for today, that heavy rainfall will impact those areas of Patterson down towards New Brunswick, Trenton, Philly, uh, Wilmington, that I-95 corridor will be a soggy mess. And as we look at the rain forecast, you'll notice those coastal areas easily getting one to two inches of rain as you get up towards Maine, two to three inches of rain. And then the snow aspect. Yes, right? We said we're a month into spring and we're still looking at areas potentially getting at least a foot of snow, if not more. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.